And if you have any sort of like flat sort of spots in here, stiffen these. Mm. Yeah, coming down to so he moves there. Yeah. He's a bit stiffened in that block. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah a bit flat. Yeah. Okay, um, you know, so you might find that that's a bit stiff. So we're just going to release some of these. <coughs> you know, you can sort of palpate and see like he's rotated on the left there because that's higher. That's level. So he's rotated that one. Okay, so he's rotated on the left. If I find the spines process, bring my thumbs across, then that one goes deeper, and that one goes shallower. Okay, so if that's uh, on T5, yep, so T5 is rotated left and T6. Okay, so if I just want to release that one, shuffle back a little bit. So by putting the towel onto the mm -hmm. spinous process, let me just show you on the spine to make it yeah. easier. So again, no rotation. So again, you know, these are very, very safe if you want to, to have a go. So you put this onto uh, the joint you want to fix. Let's say that's T5 as an example. So you fix T5 there and you want to move, say, T4 off T5. So this towel will, will come onto that level and fix it. And then what you then do is you get the person to slowly slump forward, so you're just increasing tension via the ligament down to that level, but don't go past it, so you're tensioning <coughs> to it. And then you do one of three things, really. You get the person then to bring their arms under, so the right arm and the left arm, and hold on the back of your shoulders. Okay, so you're increasing tension coming across. And then the second way of increasing tension is your hands onto the elbows. Yep, yeah, head forward, and then you pull his elbows in towards you. Okay, so now you're increasing thrust in a sort of like anterior posterior way. So that's the increase in tension by ligament tension, transverse tension, and then separation of like an AP or PA glide. And then once you feel it's locked, it's a little thrust. So you're trying to push the spinous process forward, at the same time bringing the spinous process back to so doing that movement. So if I just show you one example. <coughs> so. So we lock in on that one. So about sternum. So you're locking on the knee there. So I'm locking, yeah, just on the level. I want to fix hands onto there quite tight. Right, just bring it up. So I'm going to slump him down to that level, so head down. So I'm going to flex him down to my chest there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let yourself relax. So I'm just locking him in. Okay, locking him in there. Rust. Great. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't crack in the clinic now. <laughs> <laughs>